Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? Um, really sort of late night video for me. I hadn't planned on making a video tonight, um, but but something is agitating the shit out of me, and it, it seems to me like I'm getting in this conversation with you more and more. You know, like my immediate family members, and um, I, I don't do a lot of videos like this, but I, I'm just venting right now, so deal with it. Um, a lot of my family members. You, you could label them as conservatives, you know, politically speaking, you could label them as your typical, average, everyday American conservative, okay? And um, so I'm, I'm used to all the propaganda and all the rhetoric that comes with that religion, which is kind of the way that I view any political agenda. Any sort of political agenda it sort of seems religious to me. Um, I, I, I just can't see it any other way. But that Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I'm fucked up. I don't know. You tell me. But um, I'm watching a video, and, and I'll link it over now, like I always do. And it, it's by a, a fairly popular um, conservative fella here on the YouTube. And um, he, his username is like Macho Sauce Productions. He's got a lot of subscribers, maybe like 15,000. And the guy doesn't really agitate me all that much. And the reason that he doesn't piss me off is because, to me, um, what he does is very typical of, um, you know, a religious um, conservative. This is the way they behave. This is what, these are the things that I expect to hear. But there's one issue in particular that frustrates me, and it's the, um, it's the, mainstream conservative opposition to state worship. Now what I'm talking about is just like in this video over here this guy is going on and on and on about the indoctrination that's going on in public schools today. Okay, he's talking about how um, these small children are singing songs about Barack Obama and, and there's other footage of these other kids you know saying because of Barack Obama, I can do this, and because of Barack Obama, I can do that. And this, this guy who, did, who actually did the video seems really frustrated, and basically the message is that this Obama worship is nothing more than indoctrination, and it's sickening, and it's, it's despicable. And the whole premise of this video is, you know, um, we conservatives call Barack Obama um, the Messiah in a sarcastic way, for a reason, because you worship this president. Now, I understand that, and I understand where the guy is coming from, because quite frankly, uh, nothing agitates me more than a than a popular authority figure. I mean, I mean that's just me. I, popularity and authority, the combination of those two things, it, it bothers the shit out of me. Um, as Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber might have said, it really chaps my ass. Um, you know, a popular authority figures piss me off. And and that's just the way it's going to be for me. But what I can't figure out about guys like the one in this video over here is where are where were they before Obama was in office? Um, where were these people? Where were they? Why, why were they not complaining about their children being trained, trained by the state to put their hand over their heart and pledge allegiance to the state. Where were these people? And I, I'm pretty sure I have the answer to that question. The answer to that question is they didn't give a shit um, because they didn't have an agenda to push. You know, they didn't have an opposition to what the people in power were doing with the power at that present time. You know, you have all of these hardcore, gung-ho fucking conservatives that were just up, you know, dub his ass, and, and they loved everything the, that the man did. So state indoctrination didn't bother these people while Bush was in office. For the eight years that, that Bush was in office, no, no one complained about state indoctrination. Does anyone else who, who's really taking the time to think about this, does this bother anyone else? Um, like when Obama was giving his speech on the importance of education, which 
let's let's be honest about what that speech was. It's not about the importance of education. It was about assigning value to state education. And, and that's all it was. It, it was more propaganda to pump up the state education program, the camp, the training program, which is really all it was to me. Call me crazy, but that's all it was. You know, it wasn't a speech about how being an educated individual is important. It was about how uh, you have to come to us for the optimal educational environment. You have to come to us. Otherwise, you're not going to amount to shit. And that's what the speech was. And I saw it for what it was. Okay? But what really pisses me off is if you had these conservative parents pulling their children out of public schools for one day, one day, so that they would so that they would not have these children would not be subjected to the president's speech on education. Now, when I think about this, it just infuriates me because every morning these parents wake their children up and they send them off to one of these fucking education camps to where these children will be told to stand up, place their hands on their chest, and pledge allegiance to the state every fucking day. They're being taught what the state wants them to be taught. And these conservative parents did, don't, never gave a fuck. But suddenly, now that they have some, now that the powers that be, like, have, like, an, an agenda that doesn't quite match whatever it is that they want, now state indoctrination is a bad thing. Um, the reason I'm making this video is, is basically to say fuck you to every conservative who would willingly send your child to the school and, and not protest state indoc indoctrination in another form, but when it includes like a president, someone who happens to be in power, <clears throat> you, you suddenly think that state indoctrination is dangerous. It, now it's a problem because Barack Obama is the one that's doing the job this particular day. I mean, fuck you. Yeah, I mean, that's completely inconsistent. It, it's garbage. You know? Fuck you. Um, but what, what do you guys think as a whole? Do you think I'm overreacting about this? Yeah, to me, when I see a video like the one over there, I have to ask, where was this guy? Where is this guy before Obama was in office? I mean, I mean sure, he was doing the conservative thing. He was talking about abortion and same-sex marriage and yada, 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 yada. But that's all religious crap that's thrown into the mix. What I want to know is, essentially, why is state indoctrination only bad when you have an agenda? You know, when you, when you want to talk bad about the current president. You know, I mean, fuck. Either it's always a bad thing or it's never a bad thing. That, that's just my opinion. You have to make a choice. Um, I, I know I don't usually do videos like this, but I wanted to put this idea out there. And uh, you guys comment. Fucking make video responses. Tell me what you think. I'm interested, okay? And good night, guys. Peace.